Okay, so in this video we're going to look at creating the markbook and doing some clever things with that. Now the first thing I want you to do is in the um, in this uh, Moodle course, the uh, Excel Basics section, I want you to go down and click here to download the Excel spreadsheet containing the scores. So click that and that will force a download. So we want to save the file. Now mine saves the file in the downloads folder on my computer. Um, you'll need to work out what yours does. So I'm going to go to my um, downloads spot. There it is. Uh, HSC Final Marks 2. Double click on that. And there's the file that I want you to work with. This is what we'll be working with. So we're going to change this file into the completed file. And if you have a look here, we've got HSC um, scores, YC students there um, in a shuffled alphabetical order. We've got assessments A, B, C, and D. We need to put in their ranks. We'll need to put in a totals column. And we're going to need to do this tricky thing with where we want um, assessment A to be worth 15%, B, 25, C, um, 20% and E um, something else and we've got to adjust the widths of columns as well so you might want to watch this video a couple of times and then step your way through depending on your skill level so first thing I want to do I'm going to is adjust some widths of these columns so the column A is okay B, C, D and E they all need to be um, about so wide the rank can stay where it is. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next thing I want to do is to insert column after B, a column after C, a column after D, and a column after E. Alright, so the easiest way to insert, we could insert one column at a time if we wanted to. Um, let's have a look at, we'll do, we'll do the first column. Let's go after column B and click insert and after column D, or after assessment 2, in, insert, all right, and, we could, and, and so on and so on. Now we could do this all together. We could um, insert after assessment 3, press control, hold it down, and then we also want to insert after column H. So they would insert two at once. All right. So we could have done. I could have done four at once if we want. If I if I wanted to, it's no big deal. Now this looks a bit untidy. I I, I want to get rid of this color here. This time I'm going to just highlight those those cells and then control my control keys down. Um, and so now I'm going to do the same thing again. So let's just go, I'll use that, okay? The other thing that I'd like to do is, is just to increase the amount of borders. Notice there's no borders over here, not on the rank. So I'm going to highlight the whole of that, the area that is required, and click on my border tool, and choose all borders. There we go. And I'm gonna go control, control S, which is save, and um, because I, I like to save as I go. So now we've sort of we've got this thing, um, this table set up. We're almost ready to now um, work out these new these new columns. But we let's put in a totals row. If I highlight three and press insert, good. That's going to do it above. Um, and I'm going to put a hundred. At the top of each of these because that's what these assessments were out of. But this needs to be 15%. Now the, the best way to do this, I, I think it's best to to uh, operate on this for, on this total because if I put in a correct formula, then that hundred is going to come become 15, and then I know I'm right. All right. So I highlight here. And I'm going to press equals because to start a formula, I you always must use equals. And what I want to do 
is I want to I'm going to take this number here which happens to be a hundred so this is the easy one I'm going to take a hundred so I'll click on the hundred and that's cell B3 I'm going to divide that by a hundred which means I've now got one because a hundred divided by hundred is one and I'm going to multiply by which is the star which is above the eight so that's shift eight multiply by 15 so that's taking B3 is 100, divided by 100 is 1, times by 15, gives me 15. If I press enter, there I have it. Now, so I know that I've made the correct conversion there because I, I want the number, I want 100, I want 100 to become 15. Now, I can just grab that bottom right hand um, little toggle and pull that down and I'm going to convert all of those numbers to be numbers out of 100, to be num to numbers out of 15. Okay, how good is that? Now, another thing I want to do is not have two decimal places. I only want one decimal place, and so I need to look for a pla a um, uh, uh, something that gives me decimal places. This looks like it. Increase decimal? No, I want to decrease decimal to one place. Bang, there it is. Okay, easy. Now, this one here, I could do the same thing. I could go, um, I could go equals that cell there, which is D3, divided by 100 times by 25, or I might just go divide by 4. Dividing 100 by 4 gives me 25, and then, so that's, so each of these scores need to be needs to be divided by four, and that gives me a score out of twenty five. Once again, I need to decrease that those by one decimal place. Now, if you're a bit new to Excel, there's a fair chance you're going to be wondering why, when I uh, converted these scores in column E to twenty five percent. You might be wondering why I've started with the cell D3 and divided that by 4. Or over here we started with B3 divided by 100 and times by 15. If you're, if you're not very familiar with Excel or the way formulas work, you may be wondering why don't we just go 100 divided by 4 equals 25. Well, the reason is this. If we did that and copy that down, then basically we've said that every student has got 100%. If we, um, because what we're doing is we're, we're um, setting up um, the total, which is 25%, but then making that score the same for everybody. And that's not clearly the way it works. So the reason that we go cell, and let me type it in this time, D3 divided by 4 in this case, because we want to get it to 25. The reason we do that is because we want the we want Excel to take whatever number is in D3 and divide it by 4. And then when we copy it down here, we want we are saying to Excel and also, whatever number is in D4, we want you to divide that by 4. And whatever number is in D5, we want you to divide that by 4 and put it here. Because when we copy down, up the top here, we've got D3 divided by 4. Next cell is D4, which is this one. It's the 88 divided by 4. The next cell is D5, which is the 80.4 divided by 4. The next cell is D6, which is 73.9 divided by 4, and so on, and so it goes on. That is a beautiful thing. Oh, we've got happen there. That is a wonderful thing about Excel. So that's how it works. Um, so I hope that that's cleared up. For, for those of you who had that, who are wondering about that, who are very new to formulas. I hope that it's cleared that up for you.